Hey guys, welcome back to a new video of Russian Fishing 4. Uh, in this video I'm going to cover the basics of uh, bobber fishing. Now uh, we start out with and this rod immediately at the tutorial lake. Uh, and we bobber fishers we have a benefit over the other type of fishermen. So, and that is that we can actually get a free bobber fishing rod, another one here at this lake, whereas uh, for feeder fishing and spin fishing you would need to invest money. So what do we do here at the lake? You'll turn around, you go up and walk towards the house and you press E. Now I will be getting a red message because I just did it, uh, but you guys will actually get a green message and that will state that you've got something new into your inventory. So we open up the inventory, you press I and you will actually have this bamboo rod and with it comes 100 meters of line uh, also you will get a goose floating quail for a bobber you will get this uh, 16 sized hook and you will get a box of mini sinkers and last but not least you will get an extra of 13 Earthworms or 13 garden worms. So that will immediately uh, allow us bobber fishermen to do some uh, fishing with multiple rods simultaneously. Now before we are going to do that and uh, I know that I said that for us it is going to be we will not have to invest money into uh, another rod. That is true but I would uh, advise you, uh, even somewhat urge you, to do go to the second lake, or uh, no, to to do go to the second lake, and here at this second lake, go to uh, the hardware store, which is this one, and actually use some of that fifty uh, silver that you guys will have. Click on the last stop. We need to wait for it to load a bit. Dum, 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 dum. Yes, come on. Almost there. You can do it. There we go. And spent 27 and a half silver on this a landing net. That is something that you will require uh, in order to land some of the big fish. Uh, now, obviously, so we've got our bamboo rod and then we've got our telestick. Um, and say uh, a carp of 1.5 kilograms, we will definitely already start struggling with that one. So you will definitely like to have this uh, landing net. <laughs> you can see what happens when you do not have it by watching my uh, Lady vs. Uh, Fish video. You can find it here on my YouTube channel. Uh, I uh, had a uh, 6 plus kilogram carp at the end of my line and even though I had it dragged onto shore and it was just rolling through the sand I could not pick it up uh, because at some point for, um, after a, a certain amount of weight uh, the game indicates that you can no longer pick it up by hand and you are forced to use this landing net. Get this one as early as you can uh, because you definitely need it. Now if you want to spend some more money um, you can obviously instead of uh, doing the bamboo rod you can purchase another telestick but I would say you know you got two rods now even though the bamboo is not, not a very uh, big one you save yourself the uh, 19 silver to later on when we uh, progress to get something bigger for instance uh, to grab this one which is available at 58 silver so save yourself the money do not purchase another telestick just go with the bamboo and uh, your first telestick uh, reels is not what you need uh, line is not what you will need uh, obviously we do not need that uh, it is wise to keep a couple of bubbers extra bubbles uh, behind so in the case that you do end up you uh, you hooked a, a fish that was too big uh, it's uh, broke the line snapped the line in two uh, nine times out of ten you will also have lost your bobber so um, save yourself the trouble for having to run back to the store to purchase a bobber just make sure you got one or two uh, in your uh, bag as uh, spare uh, then next to that a couple of hooks 
So you start out with a number 18 and a number 16 hook. Um, I've also got a couple of uh, number 10 hooks for instance. Um, in general rule of thumb is uh, the bigger the hook the bigger the fish. Now do keep in mind, <laughs> be realistic, that you are using a starter rod. So fishing with a two odd hook you will attract fish that will actually snap that rod in two. So uh, wait, wait with that, you know. Uh, number 8 is fine, number 10 is 12, 14, those are all fine. Uh, I would not go below 8 at the moment or, or get something bigger than, a, than an 8 with uh, with the starter. Um, uh, mini sinkers, we do not need them uh, because we got enough uh, baits. So you have these uh, these um, garden worms, uh, no need to, to purchase them here in the store because you can get them for free at the tutorial house at the lake, uh, um, at the house, sorry, at the tutorial lake. Um, uh, and you can actually go back to that house uh, multiple times and uh, get stuff uh, from here. So even though you already got a bamboo, um, if you, for instance, uh, if you want to have that quill bobber again, you can get it. Um, uh, and every time you go there and uh, it allows you to take stuff from it, you'll get that green message again. It will also add 30 of these in it. But what you can purchase, for instance, are blood worms. Those are these. I actually got frogs with uh, with these next to perch and uh, and stuff like that. Uh, maggots is a very good one to fish with. If you scroll down further, uh, these are potato pieces. Do not confuse them with the cheese. The cheese are the square blocks, and the potato pieces do have a bit of uh, roundings to it to them. I know that a lot of you guys love to fish with corn in real life, and you guys are are. Uh, that, that is obviously a good and wise thing to do. Uh, however, in this game, when you fish with corn, uh, the Talistic 16 that you got and the bamboo rod uh, will not be able to hold the bigger carp. And with corn, you are definitely going to attract the bigger carp. So my advice in, in the early stages is uh, refrain from uh, purchasing corn and the usage of it. Uh, just uh, the cheese is fine. Uh, lettuce is, or, or cabbage is fine as well, but uh, corn in particular and the peas, for instance, they do attract the bigger carp. Cheese is good for uh, going off the tench, by the way. So uh, you, you can do a uh, cheese as well. Now, a tench is, uh, is a fish that uh, it takes time a bit when it bites, uh, but they can surely pull a great deal. So definitely, uh, once more, make sure you got this one, the landing net, and... Uh, and that is, uh, that is it. We do obviously not need leaders or feeders or uh, we could do ground bait but I'll cover that in, a, in another video for now. We are not doing it. So once you have that, then it is time to first put your skill points into the skill tree. Um, to open it up you can press O or you can press escape and then click on uh, this, uh, this uh, schooler hoodie. Or oh, hat, I should say, not hoodie. Uh, and then over here, this is bobber fishing. So uh, whenever you catch a fish on your uh, floating rods, you get an open two percentage uh, increase in your skill. Now, the higher the skill goes up, and uh, if you got a very tiny fish, sometimes you will not increase your skill or only by 0.1 percent. But in the beginning, it will be open two percent. Uh, the higher this goes, the more stuff that you will unlock. So we're clicking on it. And uh, uh, for you guys, uh, in the beginning, only these two will be unlocked. The rest will have this lock symbol on it. Uh, I'm already at 25.7, so I've got this one now unlocked as well. This is uh, for Herrick, uh, but uh, that is not something that we will discuss right now. Uh, later on, I'll do a more in-depth uh, in depth video about bobber fishing, so the more advanced bobber fishing. Um, but for now, it is these two that you want to have points in. So this one is actually, uh, you can cast that further by 5% and your aim is more precise by 3%. So you definitely want to put points into this one. Uh, and then and this, the second one, this is actually how you handle your rod. So uh, it's increased by 5%. If you put in another point, it increases by 10 and another one increases it by 15. Uh, points you collect by leveling up. Every time you level up you get one point. Now, like I said, uh, at 25% we'll unlock this one. That is uh, the hair rig. I'll talk about that later on. Uh, at 30% 
we will actually be able to uh, use uh, reels on our telescopics. That is what this one is. 30% uh, will also be uh, have unlocked Bolognese rods. So those are the longer telescopic rods with uh, a reel attached to it. And then here on uh, it progresses to uh, some point we will be able to unlock uh, match rods. Let's see where are those. Do, 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 do. Need to have a look. Uh, anywhere, uh, somewhere along these lines, we'll have match rods, uh, fishing with live bait, and stuff like that that goes up. And uh, uh, usage of uh, different types of rigs. So, but uh, definitely put your points in this one and in this one as well. Um, Oh, one thing that you guys can already uh, is, is already useful to know is once you unlock here at 50 percent the Bolognese rods all the points that you have in this one and in this one so the handling of the rod itself and then uh, uh, and the rig should say and uh, in here uh, how further you can cast out and how more precise that is actually already transferred then onto your Bolognese rods as well so it's not that uh, you got your skill here in your telescopic rod and then you want to do the Bolognese rod and you have to start all over again with uh, casting out further and aiming. That is not the case, it gets transferred straight up. Alright, so now that we have covered uh, the points for the skill tree and that we've covered the landing net and what to buy, let's do some actual fishing. Um, so like I said, because we got two rods we can already do some fishing uh, with uh, multiple rods in total by the way guys where you can fish with three rods simultaneously so that is pretty awesome so you walk up to whatever spot you prefer i like this one because it gives us a bit of room we've got some dead uh, and cut reeds over here and then some uh, some growing ones you can also uh, for instance fish over here where you got a dead log that is always a great spot for predator fish like perch and pike and uh, over here we've got some lily pads as well. I'll show you guys by the way where I caught the frogs that was actually here on this spot. I cast it out here. I caught a lot of perch on this uh, spot with uh, bloodworms uh, hook size uh, 10 uh, from the top of my head and a leader depth 60 centimeters. Uh, and then I caught two frogs. That was awesome. Uh, but we are going to fish over here for now. So uh, first up, key binding your rods. And to do that, you press U, keep it pressed. And as you guys can see, uh, we've got a rod over here. I was gifted this rod, but we will grab this one, our bamboo, and place it under two. Now, whenever I press two, I will actually select my bamboo. And I see that I've not assembled it yet. So let's quickly do that. Um, wherever you go and you see this button, uh, BBL6, POC, mirror to NTB, it means discard. Do not press it, you will throw it away. Uh, for the bamboo, it's it's not that bad because you can get it back at the, uh, to throw your lake at the house over there. Um, but for all your other gear, you do not want to press this button. You do get a red warning sign, but if you then press DA, that means yes, you'll actually throw it away and there's no means to get it back. So if you do this on your telescopic rod, it's gone. You've got to get the money and purchase it back again from the store. So whenever you get this one popping up, this red message, uh, after you press that uh, BBL uh, button, always press yet. No. There we go. Uh, we will put the line on it. We'll put the float on it. Over here we put the hook on it. And then I like the uh, worms on it as well. And then uh, this button means equip. So here we go. We are adjusting our leader. I'd like to set this at 30. And uh, I'm actually going to use this to fish a bit up close. So you can cast up by just pressing the left mouse button. Now if you want to cast up very far. And if you want to uh, use all the force that you've got. You press and keep it pressed the left shift button and then your left mouse button and you can, as you can see 122 now if I am to throw it out like this it would actually bounce back a bit and that has to do with the way that how high you are holding your rod I'll show it again boom and there it bounces back now that obviously we do not want so what you do need to do is the moment it goes up you lower your rod so it actually is not bouncing back 
and it gets to where you want. Uh, to set this down, you press zero. There we go. Uh, let's get our other rod out. Uh, if I want to swap bait, you press B. Shows up all the bait that you have. I like to fish with bread on this one, so we'll put bread on it uh, later for this one. I actually like to fish you at so 75 centimeters, and we will cast that one out as well. And set it down, press zero. Now you can hover over it uh, with the mouse, and it will actually select the rod. Uh, e means that you'll pick it up again and we'll set it down again and G actually means that you can change something in the uh, assembling of it um, and here we go we already got a fish on on this rod so with E I can pick it up and then oh it got off now I see I got something on my other rod. I quickly press the one button because that is what it's keybinded on. And oh, it let go already. Here we are. And we'll set it down. So in total, you can fish with uh, three rods. Uh, I must say, the action is already enough for me with uh, just fishing with two rods. Uh, I will show you guys the landing net in a second uh, to. Uh, bring out the landing net, you need to have uh, a whole rod into your hands and then you need to press spacebar and that will help you in landing the fish. So I need to wait which one of these is going to go down first, then obviously we need to do a proper strike. And that one is just taken for a walk, if I am to strike it now I will lose it. That's what I've learned from my experience so far. <laughs> need to wait until the bobber is uh, fully down and under or when it goes light flat and there it is attempting to light flat yeah let's see no it is back up again so I am waiting oh but my bamboo is going so here we are strike it bring out the net like so and then boom the net automatically does that by itself so you just press spacebar and here we can see actually the lucky fish uh, so a lucky fish, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a bigger fish or a better looking one, it's just a fish that is lucky. Some fish are just random in luck and it will increase your luck. So we are going to keep that. Um, so it's not a trophy, uh, not necessarily, it does not show up in here, but you can see that here in the horseshoe, we actually do have a red added to it. Um, and uh, with that, our Chances are increased in catching another lucky fish and also in catching a bigger fish. So that is a good thing. Uh, in time it will uh, decrease again. So it just lasts for a little bit. Uh, that horseshoe set one. So it is just for one hour I believe it is. Uh, sometimes you can also catch a lucky fish that will have it increased by a longer amount of time. Here we go. Again, bring out the landing net. Obviously, for these type of fish, we actually do not need it. Um, but for the uh, stronger ones, and uh, we got something pulling heavily on the bamboo right now, we might need it. Not on this one. Not yet, though. Here we go. A nice looking perch. So, this is the experience that we are getting from it. 46. And uh, this is the uh, increase in skill with bobber fishing 0.2% and then over here it says uh, the type of fish that mean this means perch and then here it says how much it weighs uh, 278 grams this means keep that means release obviously we want to keep it because we like to sell it at the end of the day and that is basically how bobber fishing goes so in oh wow you guys see that one tucking he will tuck it in again and make it move up there you go and boom it is up it is up and now it takes a for a walk and now we do need to strike it quickly there we go and now you guys can see this is a biggie you guys can see the tension and so i am glad i've got a landing net and here we caught a, a one kilogram chap a chip sorry one kilogram chap and this one is awesome because chips pay you good money at the store. Uh, I've got something on my bamboo as well. 
Here we go. Oh, it's gone. Uh, but that is uh, bobber fishing for now, guys. These are the basics. Um, after you've purchased this, uh, so you got a bunch of uh, extra hooks, a bunch of extra bobbers uh, in case you uh, you broke your line. Uh, you got your landing net. Very important to have done. You put some points into uh, into the skill tree. Once all that is done, my advice would be to uh, just uh, keep on fishing, keep on grinding, get your skill up in here, put more points into these uh, these two. Uh, this one you will actually immediately start having it once you reach 25%. You do not need to put an extra point in that one. And then in time you can actually start purchasing the heavier gear. Uh, I will cover all of that in a later uh, tutorial video. For now guys, I'd like to say uh, thank you so much for watching. Ah, one more thing that uh, I'm about to forget. Um, uh, I'm streaming this game on uh, weekdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday uh, on my Twitch uh, Twitch channel. It's uh, twitch.tv slash ladyofgames. Mind that the O in OF is a zero. Now, uh, I've been in contact with the development team of Russian Fishing 4 and one of the developers has agreed to do a uh, uh, reoccurring Q&A with me uh, for the time being. So coming Thursday, 6th of July, uh, we will actually have a Q&A with Gene, one of the developers, uh, on, my, uh, on my stream. It will be live. It will start at 10 p.m. GMT plus one. Uh, and you guys can come in and you can ask him everything that you want, uh, want to know. Um, if you do not have time uh, next week, the week after that, he'll be back again. Uh, I'll post it on Twitter, so uh, please do follow me on Twitter to have the exact times and, and dates of when I'll be having my Q&A. Um, if you can't make it or, or for whatever reason are, are not able to or do simply just do not want to visit my, yeah, my Twitch channel, it's fine. But if you've got any questions, feel free to post them down below. I'll try to answer them uh, as best as I can, and if I do not know the answer to it, I'll make sure to put your question towards Gene and wait for his answer. And the moment I get it back, I'll make sure to answer it and, and uh, bring it to you uh, once more. Alright, so with having that said, thank you so much guys for uh, for watching this video. In my later tutorials, I discover, uh, um, I'll cover uh, basic of spin fishing, the basic of feeder fishing. Uh, we'll do the uh, rod assembly, what to do when you break your rod, how to repair it. Uh, we'll do the status bars and so forth and so on. For now, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, do not forget to uh, follow uh, and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you later again. Bye bye!